I twisted my ankle at the Old England uh, four weeks ago. Um, and at that time, my physio said that I should probably expect not uh, being able to play for like six weeks. So, um, but it's going good. It's going in the right direction. So I guess in a few weeks, I will be uh, able to, to move around on a badminton court again. We do not have access to, to the badminton hall or to the gym um, at this moment. So, um, of course, that makes it uh, that makes it quite hard to to, to practice like uh, like really well um, because we are limited to 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 do what we can in the in the apartment or the house. I have bought some different different equipment. Um, to my apartment, I've got some uh, a lot of uh, these rubber bands, uh, elastics, where you can do a lot of exercise with some some hand weights. I spend a lot of time on the on the bike as well to try to stay in shape uh, in this time where we don't have access to to badminton. I'm doing these uh, vlogs sometimes just to show the the life of uh, of an athlete and. And in this particular situation, my life. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I still have a few uh, few vlogs coming up from this quarantine life, I think. Um, but I'm also trying to figure out what what to show you because, um, as I just said, there is not much to do. Um, so I, I could, of course, just record me uh, lying in the couch watching Netflix the whole day, but I don't think that would be really interesting. With this situation, it was uh, indeed the right uh, decision. So I was I was happy about it, um, um, and also from a from a selfish point of view, I, I think it's a good thing for me because um, I'm definitely going to be a a more developed badminton player in a, in in one year or one and a half year, um, of course. So um, yeah, I'm. I'm I'm, I'm still on, on the rise um, and uh, I can I can improve so much in one and a half year as I've been doing for the for the previous one year one and a half years I was really happy to 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 reach another final in a, in a stores in iron um, third in a row so that was amazing of course the all England was a big goal um, and I reached a semi-final there, which has always been a big, big dream of mine as well. Um, but unfortunately, it ended in a in a really bad way. Um, so, yeah, that was of course that was tough to play a big match like that, but then not be able to to finish it. But for me to to go out in 2020 and start off with some good results was um, was really good, and I'm really happy about that. Um, because I I feel that, that I have not been in my in my best shape, so so still to be able to produce good results is a, definitely a good thing. I would encourage them to to keep working out as much as they can um, in whatever facilities they have. Um, stay active. Um, physically and also mentally stay really patient because this is a tough period of time um, and a lot of uncertainty we don't know when we can get back to our our normal everyday life and be able to travel or play sport or watch sport in the television call call your loved ones call your family talk to talk to the people around you and um, encourage them to to do the same so uh, yeah that's that's my message